Well, we're out with you today. Um, it's the six hour launch event that's going around the UK and we're here with Hunt Forest, but you've done something a little bit different for it because we're here uh, at a bit of a fancy venue, really. So, or a wedding venue. Well, this is it. <laughs> so <laughs> tell me why you've done something really a little bit different than with a, your normal dealership. Um, yeah, sure. Job. I mean, there's nobody getting married here. That's, no. <laughs> that's for certain. Not not at the minute. Um, but Haven't yeah, we're <coughs> we're at Keasley Farm, um, which is a well, the gathering barn is the venue. So mm -hmm. it's it's actually a wedding venue, which we're we're using. And yeah, it's the six R road show that John Deere are doing with all dealers. But we're doing it a little bit different because yes, it's a it's a bit of an open day, and we're showcasing all our manufacturers, and we've got some reps here from everyone. Uh, so that people can come and have a chat and, and talk to those people as well as the John Deere guys. But really, it's also largely about um, there'd be a lot of customers in the in the area that we acquired, the new Hunt Forest area, if you like, towards the west um, that we haven't met before. And we wanted those guys to come along, experience what Hunt Forest as a brand is about um, and just experience the business, meet some meet some of the team mm -hmm. um, and just show people what, what, what we're doing really. So, you know, they'll all be familiar with John Deere from the from the previous dealer, but yep. just not us as a business. So yeah, it's a really good central location. It's just a good chance for those guys to come here and, and meet us. I'd say a lot of them probably came up I yesterday. I think they did, yeah. It was a <laughs> crazy day, six, 600 plus people. Yep. And um, yeah, and today we're a lot, lot quieter. Yep. Um, but yeah, if we had a handful of people turn up today, I'd still be over the moon because yeah. it was mega last night. But yeah, no, it's a really cool day because obviously you've got all your own tractors here, but then like you were saying, you've got all your different manufacturers and the different brands that are supplied under yeah, your so. blanket, would say. So you've got like the likes of your Kramer and your, and your Richard Weston and your Amazon and yeah. everything else that's within your dealerships. Yeah, there'd be a lot of brands that people don't actually probably know we sell exactly. because of either where they're located geographically because we don't sell everything across the whole area. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's probably a bit of an eye opener for, for some for some guys, but yeah, even down to just the trucks. So like, you know, yeah. the, the Isuzu's of course that we've got here. Um, As you were saying, that almost driven in this morning. Yeah, she was, yeah, she so, was a little bit dirty. She was a little bit dirty this morning, to <laughs> but be there fair. Was, there was a lovely line of them here yesterday. <clears throat> there was three so. there yesterday, looking all shiny and lovely. Um, but no, that's brilliant. What we'll do is we'll take a quick look around and um, we'll make our way into the marquee that you've got. I'll just turn this around here. You've got a couple of the new 7Rs here as well. So you've got obviously the 310. Gareth is obviously probably raging that he's not here, but he does have a 350 at home, so he can't really complain too much. Yep. And then obviously you've got the 370 here as well and the Mighty 8RX. Yep. And then obviously you've got your big... Well, is it Kramer or Kramer? Because I can never pronounce it right, I'm pretty sure. Well, we're a bit closer to the West Country, so we think it's Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly have a serious amount of lift on them. Yeah, so that, that machine's a, a new model, actually. There's another smaller new model that's just in the tent. So that one's three and a half tonnes or 3.6 tonnes to 10 metres. So it's a new double extending boom. Yeah. Um, so that machine's just being launched from Kramer. You've obviously got your Richard Westerns here as well. So like <coughs> you were saying, you've got all your different brands. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the nice thing is, is most of the kit we brought here, from a logistical perspective, it's uh, a lot of it's sold, so yeah. it's going to go from here straight to farm, yeah, so it I makes the job a lot easier. A good few of them, obviously the John Deere's that you've got lined up here at the front, they've all got your sold badges on. Yeah, not not all of them, but we've got quite, quite a lot going out from here. I mean, we had an absolutely mental day on the first for new registrations because... Oh, yes. Probably, um, if you've got other John Deere folks or other dealers watching, you know, supply has been a real issue for for us for the last 12 months and continues to be. Um, but I think that's kind of all round in fairness. I think so. It probably affects all, all brands and all manufacturers, but what it does mean is we've had an awful lot of kit delivered, perhaps when we haven't expected it or we've had to forward order kit. Um, so people have said, well, look, I'll have it, but I'll wait until the first and get a new number plate. Um, so yeah, we had loads and loads of kits stacked up going out on the first, and it was a, a crazy day trying to organise this and yeah. new registrations as well. Yeah. So how do you find things have kind of progressed since Hunts have kind of acquired Smarts? Br brilliantly, really. I mean, we've had excellent feedback, um, and I think the way that it, it happened is we bought the business in its entirety mm -hmm. a year ago. And we kept everything exactly the same. So we kept the Smarts name. We kept everything trading exactly as it was. Um, didn't change anything at all. And that's kept a good amount of c 
consistency and stability across the business so people know who they've been dealing with exactly. there was no real change other than the ownership and that that's kind of steadied the ship and got everyone on board knowing us yeah. and now we've gone for the name change and we're fully branded across the whole area hunt forest we've just kind of eased everyone into it and they know who we are and it's, it's, it's worked really business. really well yeah 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 well, that's it you know it's all about the kind of customer familiarity and making sure that they're they understand that you're still there from them yeah exactly you know but yeah as you were saying as well use is a massive thing for you and i suppose yeah. it's ideal really with the way things are gone and it's harder to get delivery of new tractors too yeah that customers are still able to buy used stock yeah i mean used has grown massively in the in the last 12 months mm -hmm. probably 18 months especially with how hard it is to get hold of new equipment, but probably um, we're quite well known for used equipment and perhaps the people in the new area aren't tuned into that. So we've had quite a lot of advertising at this event, the fact that we sell used as well. So you've seen some of the used stock um, stickers on the tractors yeah. here. And we actually, we've got three or four used items here as well that people could scan a QR code and go straight to the used section of the website. But yeah, we, we want to let people know that you know, we sell new John Deere, we sell new Coon, new Amazon, new Kramer, but also we do a lot of used and that's yeah. a big part of our business. Export a lot as well, so yeah, just getting people tuned into that really. Yeah. But I mean, there's definitely been great reception around the new 6Rs. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's sort of well documented. We're, we're probably at the back end of the queue of these events really. Um, but I think people are really engaged in the changes and the yeah. power is the biggest one to be exactly. fair. You know, it's gonna be a real rock star that tractor is. Yeah, the 185 obviously that you have here, that'll be a major step up. And I know Gareth was saying that when he was over in Germany visiting, that the 185 is gonna be a massive, massive thing over in Northern Ireland because <coughs> obviously yeah. going up from the 155, you've still got a small enough tractor here, but you've got more power basically. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you 234 horsepower max with this tractor and you know, it suits a lot of our customer base. I mean, this and a 215 would, would be our bread and butter tractors, yeah. really, to mm -hmm. be fair. Um, but people want more and more power density all the time. They want more horsepower out of a smaller tractor. And this just fits the bill. Yeah, that'll um, be the go-to. Yeah, and the order bank for this particular tractor already is massive yeah. for, for us. And people haven't even seen it yet. So this is the first time they're publicly seeing it yeah. in the flesh, yeah. our customers. Um, so we're super happy already, yeah. Yeah, and getting to drive it will be a whole different animal, like. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Even speaking to the likes of, obviously, the other people within John Deere, as well as the contractors that made it up, and, well, farmers and any sort of customers of yours, I mean, the reception seems to be really good for the 6R, so yeah. it's great to see. Yeah, cool. yeah, thanks a million. Yeah, no worries.